Hello everyone, welcome to the episode number 4 of this tutorial series. So today I'm going to show you how to import the apartment into Unity and start to walk around. Um, okay, if you first start up Unity, you see uh, this window. You may be in the getting started tab, so make sure you're in the projects tab. And then click on new because you want to make a new project. Type in the name of your project, so I'm going to call mine Horror Game Tutorial and then change the location or set the location wherever you want to save your project. Make sure that the default is set to 3D and then click on Asset Packages and make sure that none of this is checked because we will import everything later on. And then create a project. Now Unity will do its thing and start up a new project. Your project will probably look something like this in the beginning. And this is no problem. Unity is very customizable and that's a very good thing about it because I don't like this default layout. So I'm going to go to the top right where it says default, go to 2x3, take this project panel and drag it down, make this one a little bit bigger. And now I can see both my scene view and my game view at the same time. The scene view shows you everything in the editor because in here you want to edit everything or at least you can edit everything in this scene view. And then down here in the game view you can uh, see how the player will see the, uh, will see your game. And um, yeah this is very helpful if you want to add something and edit it in the scene view and then at the same time want to see it how it will look in the game. So now we want to actually import the apartment. To do this it's pretty simple. But before we do it just go to the assets folder, right click and create a new folder. Call it import or imports and or I will call it imported um, because everything we import will go right in there. Double click and then Click create new folder, make a new folder, call that apartment and now we minimize unity and I save my apart uh, apartment on the desktop so I double click and just grab this apartment.fbx file and drag it right in there. So now unity imported the apartment and everything is good now. So if we click on the apartment here, you can see apartment import setting under the inspector. The inspector always shows you all the information about a certain object. Um, that may sound complicated at first, but it will be clear later on because the more you use it, the more you will get used to it. So down here under the models tab, uh, everything is fine. Here you can see the scale factor. That's the reason uh, why we changed uh, the, uh, the units in Blender to metric. So we don't have to play around with the scale factor here. We can just leave it at 1. And the only thing I want to change is go down here to generate colliders and tick the box and press apply. Uh, what this did was is that now if you import a player or make a player, he doesn't just fall through the floor because now the floor has actually some kind of colliders to it and the player and other objects can collide with the floor So um, and also with the walls of course. So now click on the apartment and drag it into the scene view. And now you can see it, uh, it appeared. Now um, you can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel, so just scroll up and down. 
you can look around by pressing the right mouse button and moving your mouse and you can even fly around in Unity by holding the right mouse button and then using WASD to control. This is a pretty uh, neat feature and I use it a lot to get around my scene. So now, uh, first of all, I want to do something. Uh, in the inspector, you can see the transform component of this particular game object. The transform component basically tells the computer where this game object is, uh, is located in this 3D grid. Because you can see uh, Unity is uh, made of, of these grid lines and this is because literally every game, uh, every 3D, uh, 3D game that is, is a fr uh, three-dimensional uh, coordinate system. So to change the position we could drag those arrows around. Also notice that the y-axis, this is the green arrow here, uh, points up in Unity uh, because in Blender the z-axis, which is the forward axis in Unity, was the up axis. But now you uh, see that the y-axis is actually the up axis. Just get used to it. It's not very hard, you will get used to it very fast. So now you can see when I move around, pay attention to the transform here. When I move it on the z axis, you can see that the uh, you can see that the z value is changing. And if I would move it on the y axis, you can see that the y value is changing, and of course the x value is also changing when I move along the x axis. So now I want to have this uh, apartment at the point zero zero zero. Um, this has absolutely no reason besides the fact that I like to have my level at the transform zero zero zero. So I will put it at zero zero zero. So now we have our apartment ready, but now we actually want to walk around in our apart we, uh, apartment, don't we? So that, uh, to do this, we right click on the assets folder, go to import package, and import the characters package. It's a package with pre made scripts and pre made objects that allow us to navigate our scene. So if I click on it, this import Unity package window will open, and you can see all the things we're going to import now. Don't worry about anything, just click on import and Unity will do its stuff. This can take a while depending on your hardware. So just sit back and watch the progress bar. So now it will finish in just a moment and finish. So we have two new folders now, the editor folder and the standard assets folder. We are interested in the standard asset folder, um, here so you can read it. Go down here, expand this, go to the characters. You want the first person characters because this is going to be a first person horror game. Go to prefabs and take the FPS controller prefab. By the way, you can change the scale of these icons by using the slider down here. So by sliding to the left, you decrease the size, and by sliding to the right, you increase the size. So I'm going to put it all the way down. So now I'm, oops, that's not what I wanted. I go to the FPS controller prefab and drag it inside of here and then drag it up and before we start to play now make sure that you delete the main camera because now we have a new camera in this scene if you expand the FPS controller you can see the first person character has a component called camera 
and you always only want one ca uh, one active camera at the time. There are a few exceptions to this, but um, we're not going to need them in this uh, project. So just delete the second camera. Just right click and press delete. And now if we go up here and click the play button, we can actually start to move around in our scene or in our level. You can hear we already have footsteps, there's a little bit of head bobbing going on. You can run, you can jump, and yeah that's about it. Um, you can also see that we currently can't get through the doors because they, own, uh, they have their own colliders. We're going to address this by adding some game logic that allows us to open these doors. So for now we are stuck in this room. And now to get out of the play mode, press Ctrl and P, P for play. And now you may have noticed that the character, the FPS controller, we can rename it to player because that's, uh, that's our player. Um, you may have noticed that he is pretty small, so I want to make him taller. We will scale him on the Y axis. So under scale, click and type in 1.5. And then drag him up a little so that the green lines are above the floor. And now if I press play again, you can also maximize on play. I'm going to do this now. Click. You can see that now everything looks normal. So that's about it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply textures to this apartment so that it starts to look like a real apartment and not like some kid's toy or something like this. And also you may have noticed that line is uh, that light is coming through the ceiling and casting shadows and that's very unrealistic light can't get to, uh, through ceilings so we will change that and that's about it so if you enjoyed the tutorial please leave a like uh, consider subscribing if you want to uh, be up to date and leave a comment if you want to if you want me to cover something in depth or if you have some critique I'm always open for constructive criticism because I want to improve as well as you so until next time ciao um, I forgot to sh uh, show you something very essential I'm sorry for that so I'm adding this at the end of the video um, to save the scene we first go to the asset folder and make a new folder. So right click create folder and call this scenes and now just press Control S and you will get this uh, window. Go to the scene window and save this as scene underscore level scene underscore apartment level or something like this or just scene apartment and then uh, save the scene and uh, now you have uh, saved the scene and yeah so I'm sorry that I forgot to mention this so until next time bye guys